name is Jared. I am the head chef. This is our cuisine. It is uh, New Haven style Connecticut uh, brick oven coal fired pizza. It's a thin crust. It's uh, definitely the Neapolitan style. What we've been hitting on is our fresh clam pizza, which we sh shuck our clams every day, and that's a very common thing in Connecticut on their types of pizzas that they have. The concept of wanting like this whole urban kind of industrial warehouse feel in the middle of a neighborhood, you know, the obviously the the terracotta brick and the wrought iron steel and just the uh, the heavy wood and the heavy steel materials that we have. I was a full time musician for a long time and it just wasn't paying the bills and I noticed that I'd been cooking the whole time that I was playing music so I just gave up one thing and went with the other. My mom cooked ever since I was a kid. I mean, I was probably the only kid on the block that was putting, you know, lemon and tarragon on my ocean perch at 12 years old in my little toaster baking oven, you know. So, I think from that point, I mean, since I've, since maybe 18 or 19, I've been working in kitchens, you know. Uh, I worked at this place called um, uh, Mongolian Barbecue, and I actually cooked on this 10-foot diameter steel plate with, with wooden sticks, so you're basically like flipping around stir fry for people, you know. And I did that for about three years. That's probably like the first kind of kitchen that I've ever been in, you know. And then I got promoted to actually run the kitchen part of it rather than the show part of it, and that's when pretty much everything got a little more clearer for me. Just don't create boundaries for yourself, you know. I think uh, a lot of people are really trying to stick to one thing so they can keep a theme or to keep a concept, you know, but I think you're kind of limiting yourself that way. I have quite a few mentors. Um, I would say that since I was cooking cooking as a kid, my mom's probably one of the bigger ones, you know, because she was always cooking at home. She was always baking, always doing something new, different. Like I was coming home to gumbo and, you know, big biscuits in the morning and just pancakes and you know, you go to grandma's house and she's cooking venison and just the whole family's involved. I think that's part of it, maybe one of the bigger parts of it. So. Uh, the best advice is probably uh, to not be scared, not be afraid to take risks, not really be afraid to kind of just jump and do it, you know, and just go for it. You know, you kind of got to go at it like head first, basically, you know, just don't be afraid and just do it. Thing out right now, making sure that it doesn't have holes in it. So, so you basically don't want to touch the crust with the, uh, with the sauce. If you touch the crust with the sauce, it's going to turn black on you. Stay there until I think one side of it starts to cook and then I'll just rotate it around until you get the color and the size that you want. It's real fragile like I pull it out here. Turn it one turn. Not putting it not putting it back on the old spot because now that's a cold spot. So be surprised at how fast the, the heat goes down in the old thing. I see how the crust is pretty much doubled in size. Yeah. That's because it's closer to the heat source. Pizza that we go for here, we don't like round pizzas, so we just go for a very unorthodox size. 
you know, give it a little more character because you don't ever make the same pizza twice. Yeah, so there you go. So just put it next to the coal to get it more color on it.